What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel. I uh, just wanted to go through a, a quick little tour of my rig I am currently using. Uh, I have been out of the game for about four years. Uh, I just decided to kind of give it up and be done with playing drums and uh, I don't know over about the last year or so I just got the bug back and and uh, just missed it really really bad uh, so here we are back back in the game um, so I thought I'd just give you a little rundown of my new gear I'm pretty proud of uh, pretty excited about it um, obviously that's that's my drums but we'll start over here at my very very humble little recording studio <laughs> uh, so I got uh, got the Yamaha MG 12 XU as my my mixing console that's pretty much everything you hear is gonna come right through that uh, I don't have any other fancy gear or anything like that uh, that's that's all I got right now finances are limited and and uh, I'm making do with what I got uh, monitors are the Yamaha 5 inch powered Yamahas sorry I don't know why my video is getting all dark all of a sudden kind of weird but uh, anyway Yamaha and then just a stupid computer where I'm using uh, audacity because I'm cheap again uh, so and then my camera that I use for recording is my uh, Sony a6100 with the 16 millimeter uh, 1.4 lens by Sigma awesome combo awesome awesome camera uh, so that's that that's my humble little recording studio uh, over here you'll see <laughs> the pile of, of heads and sticks uh, the sticks actually I'm saving up a bunch of my favorite artists drum sticks and I'm gonna make a big old photo uh, 3d photo or I'm sorry 3d uh, frame uh, and put those all in it with their picture and their name underneath them and just make a nice cool little thing for the drummers I admire and look up to uh, this is kind of a cool deal. Uh, when I bought my drums, it came with, with that. The complete Paragon set of cymbals from Neopert. Uh, I think it's the first run because it's the traditional finish, not the uh, brilliant finish that he has out or the uh, the other finish that he has with the, the steamboat finish. Uh, these are the first first run, I believe, traditional. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit more. The case is super cool. Uh, going into drum land here, uh, as you can see, they're DWs. Uh, the finish is a red silk onyx. Uh, these are from, these were born in 2005, uh, June of 2005. Uh, I got a 22 inch by 16 kick, 10 by 8 rack tom. And then the, the other rack sitting back there is the 12 by 10. And then going around to the side over here is my 14 by 12 and 16 by 14. And uh, I'll give you a little better view here on the other side. Um, I just love that finish though. The finish is just so, so pretty. Uh, you know, honestly, at first when I first... Uh, bought these i wasn't too sure about the finish i was actually contemplating peeling it off and putting my own finish on it but it just grew on me big time so uh really 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 think it's just especially when the light hits it just right and the gold badge and the chrome it all just kind of kind of works together so uh hardware is all dw9000 including the front rack uh, all hardware is dw9000 uh, we'll go around to the other side. Uh, I guess we'll start with symbols. So over here is the Paragon Splash 8-inch, Paragon 14-inch Hats, Paragon 16-inch Crash. Uh, this is a 16-inch A Custom. Excuse me. Uh, this is a 10-inch Paragon Splash. That's the Mammoth 22 inch. 
uh, Paragon ride. Absolutely love that ride, actually. Love that ride. Uh, that is a 16-inch K Custom Crash Zildjian. This is the 18-inch Paragon. 13-inch uh, Paragon hats. Uh, that is a 18-inch Paragon China. And then the 19-inch Paragon China. And then I also have a 20-inch Crash and a 19-inch crash that my kids are using, my boys are using downstairs. Uh, so that's Symbol Land. Uh, my snares, uh, I love this thing. This is my 13 by 7 black nickel over brass. Uh, God, this thing is just amazing. I absolutely love the snare. Workhorse of a snare. Does everything I ever wanted to do. I had one of these, but in a 14 by 6 and a half with my old DW uh, before I decided to throw in the towel on drumming. Uh, and I wanted a 13 because 13 is just my, my favorite size. Uh, it just fits me better, fits me really nice. And I love deep snares just for that deep punchy crack. Um, so that's my snare. And then just looking behind, uh, 10, 14, 16. Uh, I have DW9000 pedals, and then I bought some of these sweet beaters uh, on Amazon. They were like 25 bucks for the pair, and I just thought they were kind of cool. They kind of match the highlights of the of the DW9000, and they feel fantastic, uh, and they look cool. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. So, and then these were actually uh, mounted toms, and I hate mounted toms, so I actually got the... Uh, World Max um, mounts, uh, so I didn't have to drill anything, and they're uh, they're pretty good. Um, I might end up doing a review video on these. Uh, they're they're pretty good. I mean, they definitely solve the solution of going from rack mount to uh, to floor toms without having to drill anything. But they're they're kind of janky. Uh, I mean, they're steady and sturdy and stuff. But I I'm not real fond of the the, you know the metal sticking out and stuff it's just not quite the same as having you know the actual dw legs um but the tone sure sure sounds good uh, it only helped the tone so i was thrilled about that these things just rumble now it's crazy uh so got those all my heads are evan g ones uh with the muffle rings only when i'm recording uh evan's dry on my snares both of my snares there is the 12 inch, and then I also have the limited edition Walnut uh, PDP uh, snare drum. That also has the dry head on it. And uh, I also put brass, uh, pure sound brass wires on both of my snares. Um, and then my sticks that I've played for years and years are the Buddy Riches. They just feel fantastic in my hand. I absolutely love these. Um, uh, microphones, you might get a kick out of this. Uh, the microphones, all for my snare and my three toms, are all using $13, or I guess they're about $14, Pile SM57 wannabes that sound absolutely every bit as good as an SM57. Absolutely every bit as good. Uh, and they're $14 shipped to your door. So I bought four of them. In fact, I had some Sure 52s and 56 for the kick. Uh, I believe that's what they were. Not the betas, but the, uh, I, can't, I can't remember, but the Sure, they're 52s and 58s, but they're not the beta version. Uh, and I ended up returning those uh, for these because these just have way more punch. Uh, clarity um, definition I can get more lows they're awesome they're absolutely awesome mics uh, I got them on all the way around uh, I, I absolutely love them uh, I would I would seriously recommend getting those uh, you cannot go wrong for fourteen dollars even if they break in a year or something happens it's fourteen bucks just buy another one who cares uh, but so far, I am beyond pleased uh, with these microphones.
I also have uh, these condenser mics uh, that I also am absolutely in love with. Uh, and I will have the link to all this down in the description. I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot. I think these are called Lix. Yeah, Lix Pros. Uh, they, for the set, are uh, $100 and you actually get two other capsules you can put on there, an Omni, uh, a Cardioid, and then the ones I have on are Super Cardioid. Uh, so it comes with all those, comes in a nice little aluminum case for a hundred bucks, and these things sound incredible. I love these things. Uh, just love them. Highly, highly recommend. And again, I'll have that link down in the description as well. And then uh, the kick drum microphone actually i just got today I've been anxiously waiting uh i just don't think you can get a better mic than the audix d6 uh i didn't try anything else these are just this is just the way it's at just got these today the one i replaced this with was a sure i think it was a sure 56 pg 56 or something like that uh and it was okay it wasn't a, it wasn't bad but this just has everything that i want uh as far as sound goes, and you just you just can't go wrong with that mic. Uh, I got my little chrome ring around the whole protective ring. Uh, so anyway, guys, that uh, that's my humble little studio jam room. Really more of a jam room than a studio, um, but I love my kit. I'm so happy to be back playing. I hope you guys liked the little tour, and and uh, thank you for sticking with me with all these years, and and. Uh, more videos are coming and and uh, it's my daughter's ukulele <laughs> uh, anyway I hope you guys like it this is a it's like a 12 by 12 little room that I've turned into to my playground so anyway I hope you guys like it thanks so much for watching if you have any questions I'd love to hear them and I will answer them as quickly as I possibly can uh, thank you again so much if you like this video, please hit the like button. I don't, I'm not making any money off of YouTube. I'm not trying to make any money off of YouTube, but if you like it, I'd like to hear about it. Um, and I'd love a comment if you can do that too. Uh, thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Keep drumming. Peace out.